Move over Windows Phone, Cortana comes to Android. We're going to give you a quick tour and show you what it's all about. Stay tuned. Dana Rubino here with Windows Central doing something a little bit different today. We're going to take a look at Cortana on Android and compare it to the Windows Phone version. As you can see here, I have it pinned as a little icon. Now, this isn't uh, official official. It's an internal beta that leaked and the APK file is now available to install on your device. However, if you want a more official version, it is going to a public beta later this month for uh, Android users so they can install it that way as well. Let's take a quick look here. You open it up and it brings up all your interests, of course. You can log in with your Microsoft account, so all your interests from your notebook will populate it. And it looks just like it does on Windows 10 and Windows 10 Mobile. Not much different there. You also get a little microphone icon. What is the current weather? It's currently 81 and mostly sunny. So that's pretty familiar to most users. You go to the hamburger menu, you have home, notebook, reminders, feedback, go into notebook, and you can see all those there. Once again, very similar to those on, uh, on Windows 10 build. And that's actually what you would expect. If you're going to use Windows 10 on a desktop and you have an Android device, you want to look and behave exactly the same. And being as it's a standalone app, now they can do that, and it's very much similar. What you can't do, though, is if I hold down this button here, you'll see I can go to my search, I can do Holo search Bing or Google, and I can even set Google, or sorry, Bing, as my default by hitting always, but you don't see Cortana there, and that's kind of interesting as I thought it would be, but this is still an early beta, so maybe they'll add that in a later version, and I sure hope so, because although I like Bing, I would like to obviously use Cortana as my search directly, and I make things a lot easier. Now, if you're curious about, say, the Windows Phone version, you can look at Cortana over here. This is on the latest build of Windows 10 Mobile, and it's uh, pretty similar. Obviously, the cards go a little bit wider here on Android, uh, and you have these gutters here on Windows 10 Mobile. That could change, though. This is obviously still very much in development. Uh, and, of course, the coolest thing is you get the uh, button integration here, so it works directly. Plus, Hey Cortana, which lurk, works under the lock screen, so you can tell it to turn on automatically. Uh, and you can't do that on Android. I'm not sure about the geofencing stuff that works yet on Android, so I'll have to take a closer look. But there you go. Uh, it's kind of cool to see, although I know some people are going to be very upset about seeing Cortana on Android. But Microsoft says the best way to grow Cortana across all ecosystems is by putting it on all ecosystems. So hopefully we'll see Cortana improve and go to more countries in the future. But there you go. Head to Windows Central for more information and leave Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Take care, buddy.